Hello, welcome back everybody for the third episode of Discovering the Dolphin Cam 2. In the previous episode I discussed the four tabs that are available in the GUI of the Dolphin Cam 2 software. And in this episode I'm going to discuss uh, what settings can be changed to get a more optimal image for finding defects in composite materials. Alright, so now let's take a deeper look into the inspection tab um, of the software. Uh, on the left you can see uh, the subject, the transducer. This contains the settings for the transducer itself. Gain and TCG, that means uh, do I add more or less gain to sending out the, uh, the sound waves or the ultrasonic waves. Um, we have transmitting elements, so how many elements do we use to transmit? Uh, if we use a higher number, it becomes more accurate. However, it also becomes slower. Uh, averaging, do I use averaging to get a more stable image? Then we go to the coverage. The coverage is actually focusing on what depth am I using. So we have a delay. So do I want to add a delay into my, uh, into my signal? Depth, so what's the depth of my material? How far do I want to look into the material? Uh, then speed of sound. Speed of sound is depending on your material. Currently I've selected uh, carbon fibers because we're looking at it. Then we have gates and thresholds. So the gate for the B-scan. Where, where do I want to look for something? So in what depth? Then we go to signal and image. Um, as you can see we have three images here actually. We have an A-scan. That's one single point. So what's happening in one single point? I can select a point over here. Then we have the B-scan. That's a line of points. So that's a line where I'm measuring and then we have uh, the B-scan vertical that's this line and then we have the C-scan and that's actually a two-dimensional image of what I'm uh, reading out of the Dolphicam, of the transducer. Then we have some color palette, so uh, now it's just uh, black and white, it's actually gray, uh, but you can also make a jet for example. Uh, gives a little bit of clearer rainbow uh, image. And then we have an image filter. We can do some filter, Gaussian, median. Um, yeah, it's depending on, uh, on your scan at the moment. You can always play around with that a little bit to find the optimal settings for your scan. User preferences. Uh, you can select here what unit you want to measure in. And then finally we have stitching. Stitching is a nice way of creating uh, a larger or scanning one larger surface with a 